Hey guys, it's me Matthew again, and today, well, <laughs> I've got something special for all of you. Today I'll be showing, well, sort of a work in progress server that I'm wanting to do, but technically, as soon as I'm done, I'll turn it into a realm. So... Anyways, let me explain some things. This is the server hub, or the spawning hub. And basically, this is where you are welcome to the server, and you get to choose what sort of type of creature you want to be. You can be an elemental creature. And just so you guys know, you are going to have to get the specific skins to be sure to make sure everything is completely accurate to what you've chosen. As well as, be sure to keep a book on you so you know exactly what you are. So yeah, you can choose between elemental, animal, a regular plain human, paranormal, aka ghosts or such, and holy. Now if I press here, you only get six options. Fire, nature, ice, water, earth, and wind. This little button is to call me. Now, if I go back over here, this is the animal option. But, it, but I haven't exactly made a teleportation area just yet. Like I said, it's, it's a work in progress, so yeah, as soon as I get all the proper areas all taken care of, everything should be perfectly fine. But like I said, be sure to write down what you are, and of course, just call me on the server so that... Basically, you end up getting the powers, the appropriate powers that you end up having. Like, I'm talking about potion powers here. Like, if you're a bunny, not only will you get speed, but you'll also get jump boost. Or if you're a cat, you get speed. Mm, let's see. Speed. Slow falling, night vision, and I think that's pretty much it. Unless if you guys want your feline counterpart to be able to jump really high, I can give you jump boost. That's completely optional. And then of course, human, just you being normal. But if you want to be a fast human, that you can just end up being, but... Yeah, it really all depends. Really? Now, paranormal? Well, there are some rules when it comes to the paranormal stuff. Because, technically speaking, you are able to haunt people, and you will be able to go in creative, but just be sure to you, well, of course, if you end up using t TP, teleport, be sure you are teleporting the right person so you can just haunt them that way. And, yeah. With great power comes great responsibility. Also, you can choose to whether or not be a, a king or a queen in the nether. So, yeah, you can choose to be such in here. So basically, if you want to make a kingdom or such, you can do so. But if you're just a 
we just want to be a normal little paranormal citizen, you can. But still, that's really all up to you guys. Now. Anyways. Animal. You have three options. Normal animals. Cats. Mythical animals. Phoenix or Griffin. Curse animals. Well. A werewolf or even a custom. Now. For the custom one, it's practically sort of the same as over here at the paranormal, but but yeah, that the curse sort of flows into the mythical area. So yeah, just press the call button to call me so you can get all that stuff written down into your books. Okay, your animal, yeah, your animal counterpart personalities. So, <laughs> yeah. But overall, things are pretty darn cool. Now, as for heaven, well sort of place it in the end and I will f do my best to figure something out in order to make things look a bit more heavenish. Can't really do anything about the the darkness of the void at all really. Can't really do anything about that. But hey it is what it is. But, yeah, just be sure to just let, or just a comma using the button, so you don't end up having to deal with too much craziness. So, yeah. So yeah, I will do what I can to make these areas appropriate and such for each and each thing. Now I know you guys are wanting to know about the human area. Now this is a human area, but well, for those who are very good architects, please just give me a call on the server so that I can put you in creative to help out with the creation of the city. And um, here are some personal rules. And also, please let me know if there's some grammar that I need to fix. I did my best to spell foliage, but hey, I gotta do what I can. And also, if the diorite or polished doesn't make any sense to anybody, it basically means diorite or polished diorite. That's basically what that means. But overall, yeah, <laughs> those who are great <clears throat> architects, just do your best to go by, well, this book's example. And if you guys are good at research and would actually, like, look at the supposed ancient map of the of the ancient ruins of the city of Greece or 
um, Rome, even Sparta, I think. But in any case, just do your best and make sure you don't screw anything up on that sort of deal. But yeah. I'll let you guys know on when not just this entire server is complete, but when the server has become a realm. Just please. When that video is released, comment down below your gamer tag. Then I can friend you. And then I can invite you, you'll become a member, and everything will be good. So, yeah. Anyways, have a nice day or night, whichever the case. Bye!